Hey guys and welcome to a new episode of Nomadic Dmitry channel. Today we are going to talk about something really interesting. So I've been experimenting with Haiku for quite a, some time. So I've been just like um, installing different releases of this operating system, playing with the apps, games and all that. But I also decided to do one more thing. Probably everybody remembers that Haiku is not based on BOS, but Haiku is like a successor to BOS. It's like open source implementation of BOS uh, concepts and ideas. But Haiku OS is not exactly BOS, it's quite different. So what I wanted to do is I want to install actual BOS on my other system and by my other system. I mean IBM T42 machine I have right here and I'm going to install the BOS right there. But I'm not going to install it like standalone installation. I'm gonna install it on top of Windows Millennium. If you guys remember, the BOS was also shipped, like the personal edition was shipped like a standalone installer for Windows 9X operating system. So that's what I'm gonna do today right now. So let's go. I actually forgot what was the last time I've tried to install the BOS. I remember that I actually liked the BOS back in the day. I think it was around 2000 or something, 2001. And I liked BOS, but at the same time, I didn't found any like usage for it back in those days. By the way, this is the Russian version of Windows Millennium. And while many people say that Windows 98 is better, it's not my experience on this machine, on this IBM T42. Windows Millennium runs better, more stable, and I don't know, I just like it more. So guys, I have the installer right here. And if you look at the file size, right? So it's just 45 megabytes. This is actually strange. It's hard to believe that the whole OS is gonna be in this file, but let's see. Okay, once we launch it, it says install BOS on the file on the Windows drive. So what it basically does, if it's something like, if you guys remember the Wubi on um, Windows installation, so it allowed to install Linux in a single file, and you can just select Linux during the boot process, and it just loads from a single file. And this is actually an interesting approach allowing you to try the operating system. This was quite innovative back in those days, I guess. Continue. Why it doesn't work? I mean, what's, what's the problem here? Uh, all right, this is not exactly what I expected, but okay, I got the bootable CD, so I'm gonna plug into my laptop and see if it works. All right, let's boot from the CD. Uh, no, it doesn't work. Come on. Okay guys, I don't know, the attempt to load this from this bootable CD failed, so I guess that doesn't work, so I'm gonna try something else. You know guys, what's funny is that I actually found this copy of BOS on one of my old CDs, I guess I downloaded it like long time ago. And okay, I have better hopes, but it's actually working, alright, it starts the installation. So I don't actually know the audience of BOS users back in those days, I don't even know like who actually used the, like this full time, like uh, probably some people actually use it, so let's see. Next, alright, I agree. And what it says, you're about to install, if you're running Windows 95 and it recommended you create a BOS boot floppy. So I don't know, I think it doesn't, it's not gonna install the bootloader here. I might be wrong, but probably it will not. All right, so disk drive, setup will install BOS personal edition on the following drive. To install another drive, please select program files BOS personal edition. All right, next, installation, okay, C and BOS. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, install. So it just installs as a regular application and probably it's gonna create a shortcut on desktop and when you press the shortcut is gonna launch the BOS in some MS-DOS mode or something. It's probably gonna like reboot into MS-DOS and then launch it from there. So there's like, I guess the whole huge file, which is like image.b, <laughs> which is gonna consist the whole operating system there. And then during boot time it's gonna mount this as an image and then everything gonna load, so let's see. All right, it's, it asks if I want to register at BOS Personal Edition online. <laughs> Do you want to view the readme file? Yeah, sure, let's see what's there. Within minutes of installing the launching BOS 5 Personal Edition, you'll say, I didn't know my computer would do that. Wow, but first let's explain what BOS Personal Edition is and how it works. Alright, so here is the BOS Personal Edition folder 
and there are like options here creative foot boot floppy and start BOS and then uninstall the BOS all right let's start it so here is the shortcut it created on desktop all right so it says that in Windows Millennium you cannot boot into DOS mode but I actually modified that and it should actually be able to do that I don't know why it shows this because I actually modified a bunch of files to be able to do that load bos.com okay so what I'm going to do I'm gonna just reboot and then start it from the command line itself all right so I'm gonna press the F8 during the boot to select BOS command prompt only CD B OS and then dear okay load B O S right well it actually starts all right let's see how it works as you can see the loading screen like the similar loading screen is in Haiku but this one looks like more commercial I guess commercialized or something it would be actually interesting to know like how much different from the kernel itself the BOS from the Haiku probably nobody knows <laughs> except the developers of BOS how different from Haiku is but let's see I hope it's actually booting I hope it's not stuck no success so far it doesn't load I've tried so many times and it doesn't seem to be loading anything here <clears throat> what's the reason I'm, I'm wondering some driver not loading or something why is that why why it doesn't load here is the conclusion it doesn't really work I've tried this bootable uh, uh, floppy image actually CD image to boot it doesn't work well and then I've tried this one uh, well I initially tried to boot from this one just to see how BOS uh, loads from that but it was not a bootable CD and it didn't work so it's just my fault I guess and this one like the latest one I tried oh wait no not this one the other one I mean I, I tried so many d discs to boot from that and didn't work and I tried to install the BOS installer and it also didn't work so well all attempts to try that fail basically on this machine maybe because it has a 1.5 uh, memory or something maybe the hardware is incompatible maybe some other reason but this doesn't really work so I'm gonna later on try it on another machine but for now all right guys thank you for watching please subscribe and see you later and press the like button if you liked at least like for those attempts at least I mean I've tried you know <laughs>